Hi guys, it's Madame La Rue and the Magic Tarot come to you with to you with a reading, okay? Um if you would like a private reading, you can find me at www.bli88creations.site or you can click the link in my bio or description bar. Let's get this reading started. I I heard um unfinished business, okay? Uh so we're just going to jump right in here. Thank you so much. What is the message spread? How do you want it? Someone's uh this hair font. Someone's not listening to their their higher ups. They're not listening to their guys at this point. They are rebelling. Okay, they're under some type of pressure. Thank you. Oh wow. This is an injustice with the justice in reverse. A matter affecting the balance, the cosmic balance. This is unfair, illegal activity that this uh false high priest that was doing okay four swords in the reverse this person it may be recuperating or you may be recuperating from f some form of betrayal wow they're looking for some peace and harmony <laughs> they look for and spirit sp spit that out right on top this person is resisting a movement forward you may be resisting a movement forward okay wow spirit you are a young woman all right you're very witty Okay, give you some inspiration. I feel like this hair font, it may be coming out of their their uh their devil energy, maybe leaving that entity behind, realizing that uh it's not working, whatever he was trying to do isn't working anymore. Thank you, spirit. Um money's coming, there's prosperity. I feel like your detachment. Wow, we got an envious woman. They came out with your money. There was a third party situation. Uh -huh. Confirmation. Okay. This person may have been casting on your, um, this is a psychic. Okay. She may have been casting on your prosperity, your money. All right. Wow. Wow. Um, this Hierophant may have was involved with this false, uh, psychic okay this person has her, their intuitive intuitive gifts have been bro blocked or broken they're right now suffering a crisis some form of crisis okay um they're wishing to to go to move forward but with this injustice in reverse whatever they were doing towards you to cause you anxiety and misfortune their time has been wasted they wasted their money this this false psychic who has no gifts at all was paying somebody else possibly to portray that she had gifts she had no gifts she's intuitively blocked wow so someone here has gone all the way within all right um you may have withdrawn from the situation also this is the uh, my occultist card um this person is a, a highly ranking magician Sorcery. So this this uh Lincoln poop here decided that she was gonna come after your money. Now she's suffering money loss. Okay. It could be her that this is a high priest card. So he's seeking peace. Extremes. This person was going through the extreme. Okay. This masculine or this masculine wants to move forward. This was an unjust. Your spirit team is saying this was an unjust. And right now you should be resting and re re recuperating and, you know, listening to your guides moving forward. Okay. Oh, wow. What else? Right now, this female is experiencing an unhappy home. This, this psychic in reverse. This person that lacks any type of intuitive gifts. She did not listen to her higher ups, her, her spirits. She did not listen that you are the true sorcerer here. Meanwhile, this Hierophant is like, how do I move forward now that this injustice has happened? <laughs> yeah, this person is realizing that it was injustice. There was deception, right? This, this feminine was irrational, unstable, okay? Wow. Domineering. Somebody here was domineering. Somebody may be experiencing 
a lot of chaos due to the usage of these entities. Okay. This person was intrigued by your gifts. Intrigued. She wanted it for her own. And here you go. You are the queen of pentacles. And yet, you're very smart, intuitive, very highly intuitive. No one can take that from you. This, I believe, this is what she was trying to do. She was hiring people to take your gifts, steal your gifts. Wow. Yeah, right now you're healing. You're healing. And, oh, this high priestess is in, priestess is in reverse. That wasn't you. Somebody's recovering or trying to. There's another person on the board. This is another individual. So we have one, two, three, four. You're smack dab in the middle. Again, with that word. Um, Spirit is giving you a helping hand. You are going to be balancing the situation out moving forward. This person here is feeling weighed down. Okay. Your money is going to be improving. Your spirit team is coming through hardcore, showing them who you are. Okay. They didn't know you was hidden in plain sight. This hair font knew who you were. Okay. This feminine here, or it could be this one. I'm feeling like it was this one. Maybe divorce. Okay. This person may have been tied to the, the high priest. Right. And we have the will of fortune on the bottom of the deck. So let's get into it. Let's uh, get some more first before we go into the magic. What the fuck was this bitch thinking? So that's the underlying energy here. Okay. The Hierophant who's, who's seeking refuge, wanting peace with you or with this superficial uh, feminine. She's right now in the Queen of Swords. She's receptive. It could be you. You know, you could be receptive to the whole idea. Like, no, no, I, I learned my lesson. I, I know who I am. I'm going to stay in my lane, right? And y'all can go do whatever it is. Fight amongst yourselves. Not my monkeys, not my circus. Okay. I have a King of Wands energy. That's the magician. Okay, what about him? He wants to speak. Wow. King of Wands energy? Wants to do an offering? Wants to offer you something? <laughs> resentment. Oh, my God. Somebody's experiencing resentment. Okay. Angry. Offering help. <laughs> For what? Look. A hidden demon. There's a hidden entity. There's a hidden entity. Can't make it up. We got the hermit card. A dark, a dark uh, cultist. A dark magician. There's a dark magician on the board. And here you go. You're the high priestess. And somebody's did job. Oh, hidden. You may have just experienced some heartbreak from this uh, Herophon. Remember him? He's the dark magician. The Herophon in reverse. Yeah. You experienced some heartbreak from this dark magician. It looks like he's trying to write something up. Like he's coming up with a new plan. A new way around. A new, a new uh, angle. Oh, wow. This was in the deck. Hard work. You're a hard worker, honest and committed. Look at that. That was that was from your ancestors. Didn't even see that one. It's a form of isolation. You've gone within. I feel like these people don't know which way you're coming. Somebody was jealous of you. Jealous of your gifts. They don't know which way you're coming at this point. They have no fucking idea. The end of suffering is over, High Priestess. You don't have to worry about that shit no more. Whatever they're they're conjuring up over here is none of your concern. This uh, dark magician is obsessing over their past mistakes. They may have possibly just gotten a reading, finding out that they're about to hit some type of shit. <laughs> the shit's about to hit. Okay. Yeah. 
conflict is following them. Wow. This person may be an instigator, was the instigator. I even want to say maybe because this person is a dark high priest. So this person, this magician, occultist, is the instigator, the antagonizer. Who's antagonizing you. Uh, adding people into your life that was unnecessary. Ad adding energies into your life that was unnecessary, uncalled for. Okay, to start some type of shit. To antagonize the energy. Thank you so much, Spirit. What else? You are... Um, Spirit wants you to take time for yourself. This is the isolation. Okay, you will be parting real soon. So whatever this person was doing, the energy has shifted. You're showing up as a queen of wands. You are a magician as well. You're an occultist, a high level occultist. Okay. Oh, wait, right behind it was nothing going as planned with the page. So it could be her that's having, yeah, it is her. That's having this uh, downfall. Nothing going as planned. She's being weighed down. She's being weighed down. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, wow. And we have the Wheel of Fortune again. La Rue is on the table. Yeah. There's a Knight of Swords. This is war. This uh, Queen of Wands energy that try to stop your money, that try to stop you from your forward movement, to try to stop your abundance and your wealth. This is war. Okay? She tried to stop your prosperity. Your ancestors ain't playing no more. They said it once, they said it twice, and they're going to say it again. This is war. They're going to say it again. This is war. Okay? I believe too, maybe this it's possible that this this um occultist is now trying to enchant this or they was working together. I can't make it up. They were working together. Okay, and also you have a false high priestess uh, on the bottom there. There's someone that may have been used in the past against you. I feel like too these people, um, this especially this bitch right here, she might actually try to come to you for assistance, for help. Okay. Pay attention because yeah. although you are here to help others, you're not supposed to help those that tried to harm you. I don't I believe your spirit team or your spirit guide will, ass will assist her. So the answer most likely will be fuck no for that, for that female right there. Okay. What else, spirit? What else? so hard to shuffle something around christmas time okay i got this deck uh it's like the nightmare before christmas i believe oh why am i saying that that's not it nightmare before christmas nightmare before there there's oh spirit wants me to go into the other deck which is over here but um spell was sent to your home and the spell was to hold you back i cannot make it up this antagonizer, this dark high priest using entities with this false uh, psychic and the false high priestess work cahoots, in cahoots to send you, a, they were doing a nail you down spell, a nail you down spell. Okay, Spirit wanted me to go into this deck. Well, wow. that's what it was to nail you down, to stop your progress, stop your prosperity. Your social media, your numbers might have been low. Seem like no matter what social media you go on, your numbers are low. That's them. It was them. It was them. But your spirit team came in and kicked ass. This shit could have happened overnight. Someone's doing offerings, the audacity. I hope you want to tell me about this spell. The nail you down spell that they were doing. This was this was his hidden agenda. Look at this arrogant motherfucker, voodoo, high priest, dark high priest. 
He was the one. He was the one who came after your heart. This was his hidden agenda to hold you back so you wouldn't move forward. This enemy was unknown. You may have thought it was someone else. It was him. It was him. He may have done skull magic on you to make you feel like just out of your out of your skin, you know. Wow. Someone is in fear of what's to come. And also you may be a py uh, pyro. One of your gifts may be electro electrophoresis. Yeah, there goes the offering. There's the fucking offering. They were given they were given the entity's offerings to keep you binded and stuck and nailed down, trapped. Okay, this the, this feminine here may be projecting her feelings onto others. Okay, so now people are walking around feeling the way she's feeling. Like a loser. Loser, loser. She's a fucking loser. Okay, spirit wants her to be to expect losses, okay? Something of importance for her um, witchcraft casted on you. Something very important that will end up in the graveyard. So she likes to play with the graveyard so much. Something or someone very important is going to end up in the graveyard because she enjoyed playing there. So now she's going to have to visit whoever it is that, that she loves so dearly in that motherfucking graveyard that she loves so much. Yeah. This person is going to be on the other side. This person that she loves so much is about to enter the other side because of her fuckery. All because of her fucking dumb shit. Had the hidden agenda. Wow. Demon possession. You may have been possessed by a demon. Possibly from this uh, voodoo priest. Try to possess you with a demon. An incubus. Okay, a incubus demon to siphon off your energy. He was used, that's how the offerings were being committed. He was using this demon. Okay. Um, this was from run them off spell. This is what she was doing. She was doing uh <laughs> she wanted to run you off from the from this uh voodoo high priest. She wanted you to go away. Forcefully drive you away. Try to give you a hot foot spell. Okay. You don't gotta run. You ain't gotta go nowhere. You're a high priestess. Your your spirit, your family's around you at this time. They not they could do now. <laughs> Spirits of death unto enemies. Ten of swords. This is crazy. This is crazy. They did death unto enemies, destruction. She she did it. Because it wouldn't make any sense for this voodoo high priest to kill you because he was he was siphoning through the entity. So he wouldn't kill you because that's how he was eating. This is how he was getting his magics done, right? But this chick over here, she was doing sorcery of the worst kind. That's why she that's why somebody in her family is about to die. Okay, we're going we're gonna to slide this over here. You just sit back and watch, baby. Your heart was broken, and you ain't even do nothing. You sit back and watch. Watch the show. We're going to show them what time it is. We're going to show them what it feels like to believe in magic. Okay? So something she loves dearly is about to enter into the graveyard. You, um, high priestess. High priestess. You may be the goddess of the underworld. Yeah, high priestess, high priestess. Yeah, you're the goddess of the underworld. And they were doing what now? What was it they were doing? Someone here in your family bloodline wants revenge. This is it. This is part of the revenge. I'm not sure what's going to happen with this voodoo high priest as of yet. But right now, your ancestors are saying revenge. The underworld. That's the judgment call. 
from the underworld because you are, again, the goddess of the underworld. So the underworld is coming for revenge. Wow. Wow. Oh, shit. And remember I said here, the other side, they, they could also be your, your ancestors, your guides, your spirit team. It's punisher of broken promises. This entity and this one too. Remember, they, they demon possession. This entity, this partnership of broken promises is here. They, they're going to collect from this hole. I, I don't even know what to say. There's struggle within the group. They're right now experiencing spiritual warfare, anxiety, anxiety attacks. They wasn't thinking about that when they were throwing the magic spells, when they were throwing them death spells. She was vain and self-absorbed. That's her. Vain and self-absorbed. Didn't think that think about the consequences of her actions. It's Halloween time. Get great conflict and devastation is about to enter her fucking life. Happy Halloween, motherfucker. So with the ace of swords on the board, I feel like that's you, you know, some of you guys don't realize what, what entities are working with you. Some of the entities, they, they started out despising you and ended up loving you too. And was like, hold up. No, this is this ain't right. She ain't doing nothing wrong. Okay. An inexperienced ma magician, the fool, has entered the board. It, you know, mm, you know what I'm getting from this. I'm getting that this woman here has someone that she's supposed to be training inexperienced magician someone in her family bloodline okay someone's searching for a spell to get out of this uh energy of being attacked yeah they wasn't they didn't think they were going to be attacked oh i just heard what goes around comes around like a hula hoop Oh, wow. Wow. They're trapped. Trapped from the magic done in the past. What goes around comes around like a hula hoop. Wow. The dark truth is being uncovered at this time. They're experiencing spiritual warfare. Okay. Uncovering. Look, all because of this graveyard magic. Look at this. This greed. They wanted your energy. This greed. Okay. The other side still popping up. Like, um, she is the the our our lineage here. She's the one that's gonna carry on our lineage. For you to think that you was gonna take her out was fucking ludicrous. Now you're trapped. You're trapped in a cycle of despair. They are burnt out. They no longer have the spirit to fight. Mm. Meanwhile, you're over here like, I know who I am. The goddess of the underworld in the flesh. A high-ranking occultist in the flesh. This, this dark voodoo high priest occultist thought you would never realize it. That actually you command him. It's the other way around. It was never him command you. It was never you listen to his commands. Now he has to sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up and listen to what you have to say. That's how it was supposed to be in the beginning. From the beginning. Top of the deck, you said. <laughs> they said top of the deck. This voodoo high priest needs to, unex to expect an unexpected setback. You have an uh, an advanced telepathic um look he was seeking victory uh, victory he made a poor investment poor investment in this chick now there's a witch hunt sometimes these these um witch hunts can also be from your spirit team okay these entities do jump into other people's bodies there's a witch hunt for this woman 
you hear, you're like, mm -mm. your spirit team is like, no, no, no. They're coming. Because they didn't care. This king of, this king, um, this, uh, this voodoo high priest does not care about other people. He may pretend he does. Um, these type of people do, do not know how to display true emotions. They have none. They're broken. Although people like to say there's no such thing as broken. This individual here is broken. It was born that way. They were like this from youth. Broken. They're master manipulator. They have learned to manipulate people's energy and use it against them for their own gain. They had no care. Spirit wants them to know. Expect some unexpected setbacks in their life. What? That was that false high priestess performs dark spells on children. So um, false high priestess back under here. Um, the true high priestess, goddess of the underworld, you may, and you're also showing up as an empress. Okay. This is you. This is her. She may, you have children. So there's four of them on the board. And this witch bitch decided to cast on your child. Spirit wants to talk about that. We're casting on your child. They were careless and misguided. They were spiritually stalking you. This bitch right here. Okay, This group is in a complete battle. Complete, utter battle. I want to find out what spells they were casting on you and your children. In your home. Well, we already know the setbacks, the hold back, hold you back from your destiny. That's what was going on. But I want to see what else um, was going on, especially now that this child has been involved in this. And one of I believe one of the golden rules is not to fuck with the kids. Um, Voodoo High Priest, if you were trying to watch my reading to figure out what was gonna happen to you, I doubt I will tell you. Um we're going to leave that as a total surprise, surprise, motherfucker. For your theft and betrayal. On the high priestess. I cannot make it up. For your theft and betrayal on the high priestess. The spirit team wants to leave that open. Since you like to be open and waltz right into people's lives. And do whatever the fuck you feel that is. That you feel that you can do. Whenever you want. The confirmation the spirit team wants that to be left unknown to you. Just expect some unexpected setbacks. Okay. That's what's happening right now. You made a poor investment in these bitches. You know, like the ancestors, they want to come after you for the betrayal, the necromancy, the binding and tying of an entity to this high priestess who's goddess of the underworld. They want justice and they're going to get it. This false high priestess, I, I, I want to know what she did to the child. Trigger warning from this point forward. Something is coming in very quickly. Also, you have a telepathic shroud um, high priestess from the underworld. Okay. They warn you telepathically. Um, this from For this high priestess here, not the false. Um, they You have this shroud over you that you're warned of. But you you did it. You casted a spell, possibly on her son and her daughter. If you have children, this message, um, and you've been spiritually attacked by a group, a voodoo high priest, dark high priest, and his minions, this uh, false witch and this false high priestess. Uh, this is the one that was casting. The the false high priestess was the one casting on the child. What what do you want to tell me? Wow. Oppression and burdens. That's what you put on a kid? The Galactic Federation jumps out. This child is part of the Galactic Federation and you cast it on her. Okay. Or him. You cast it on the family. But you definitely, you was mainly focused on the children. So you were given the job to attack the children. She was given the job to throw the graveyard magic. So And he was given the job to tie the entity. 
Okay. The angels have arrived. No rest for the wicked. No rest for the wicked. Wow. I didn't even get to The angels were like, no, we're going to speak. The Galactic Federations are here. Federation is here. Um, right now, like I said, she's sitting, she's upset. She can't get no sleep. These entities are bothering her. The spell of no lover, uh, depression and sadness, oppression, whatever, whatever you were sending out to this kid, uh, spirit is directing me straight to the, the, You are at a loss for words. <laughs> Spiritual court deck. Magic has been blocked. And the spirit of counsel. So the high priestess has blocked the magic before you even got started. Or even when you... During the time that you started, right? So you started it. The high priestess realized something was going on. Hallelujah. She was warned about what she was doing. Okay. Now you're looking over your shoulder. You're scared. Yeah, the high priestess did a return to sender. An epic return to sender. You're scared now. Petrified. I think she 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 did it all at once. So everybody gets hit at the same time. That binding spell. Did a binding. Oh, so that binding spell, whoever did the binding spell in the group will be experiencing a uh, old curse. Okay, whoever did that, the high priestess is the all known. She's all known. She has the galactical. This person is a beast. Okay. Oh, and the spirit says for you to go ahead and record the reading. For future reference. <laughs> um, but she's a beast. Okay. Since, since you guys like to stalk and watch her page. And been watching her page. And been binding her page. And trying to cause her stress. Now is the time. For you guys to record. Because this is going down in history. What I swear. You're being banished. Okay. The high priestess is moving on to calmer waters, but you're being banished. I feel like everybody in the group is being banished. Okay. Everyone in the group is being banished. Is this Hades? Woo! Hades said, y'all, it's me, y'all. Remember, she's goddess of the underworld. So Hades said, y'all, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Okay, so you're running from Hades. Queen of Wands. Knight of Swords. I keep touching that. Whoever, that's the war. Spirit team is not playing. That's despair. You're going to be in despair. You're going to be in, in debt. This was a, a coven. So this voodoo high priest, dark high priest, hired a coven to come after this high priestess in the meantime he tried to attack her heart try to attack her heart to tie tie this entity to him so he can keep on uh siphoning the more worries and angry and despair that this high priestess felt the more energy that this voodoo uh high priest received so that was their job, to cause conflict with herself, so that way he can feed. They said it's a new day, it's a new dawn. Wow. They said it's a new day, it's a new dawn. Wow. It is right around the motherfucking corner. What goes around comes around like a hula hoop. You guys are going to be walking the world helpless you're gonna be injured first but then it's gonna you're gonna die it goes around comes around like a hula hoop well, that's crazy her ancestors are are protected are protecting her 
Ten of Pentacles. She's headed, the High Priestess is headed into a celebration. An epic celebration. Judgment has been called. Judgment has been called on all of y'all. Happy Sunday. Happy Halloween. Okay? Happy Halloween for your fuckery. You're a hangman. Okay? All right? Them demons that you were playing with are coming back to you. Okay? All right? You wanted her to be scared of her own shadow. She's not. The 12 judges. This is the high 12 heroes of Israel. This is one. The 12 judges are on board. You guys are in spiritual court as we speak. The verdict is death. Okay. So, so, um, your enemies are trapped. Enemies are trapped. Remember old curse. This, um, these, uh, deceased people, uh, judges, policemen, whoever this high priest is, priestess is. She holds a lot of weight in the spiritual realm. This dark voodoo priest is going to be in bondage. Is in bondage. He's binded himself. Okay. This is for the group. The entire group is going to be injured. But this high priest, again, judgment, spirit of Mike. His entities is what's going to take him out. The entities that he loves to play with. Okay. Spirit landed this deck of the card that I was shuffling over here on Ace of Swords. This is Death Unto Enemy. They're being banished. They're suffering from nightmares at this time. This group. Nightmares. Okay. They fucked with the right one. They fucked around and found out. They're finding out. Okay. The power of authorities. Okay. Angels. They're the ones that's working with the high priest that's re f re stopping all any and all injuries that that was casted on her is restraining these demons from doing any harm that's what's happening guys as real that's what's happening guys what goes around comes around like a hula hoop satan you're in Satan's court, the underworld. The high priestess put a petition. I wonder what her, her petition was. Do you wonder? If you if you can guess what her petition was, drop that in the comment box. What do you think her petition said? Her petition is being granted. Told you she's being warned telepathically. Everything you guys do are being she's already she already knows about it. And if you guys try to do had to you guys have tried to do one more spell here. You guys tried to do one more spell. Dumbest thing you could ever done. Universal law is being broken. Dumbest thing. Galactical Federation's on board. This is the dumbest thing you could have ever done. Okay. I'm also being led to um, to pull out my Orisha deck. The Orishas would like to speak here. These are gods and deities of the high priestess that was attacked. Okay. That's where I'm being led to at this time. Universal law has been broken. The Galactical Federations is here. Federation is here. All right. She is part of the Fed Galactical Federation. She's also goddess of the underworld. This person, this feminine, this high priestess is highly ranking being. Highly ranking being. You were fooled. Girl. You guys need to take it out on the voodoo priest. Because he walked you guys dead into a trap. But spirit sees all. Spirit knows all. Spirit knows what he's done. And what goes around comes around like a hula hoop. These demons are going to kill him. Trigger warning. All right. What does the Rishas want to say? Oh, damn. Let me get it out. Oh, there's a young witch. There she go. A young witch. Inexperienced. She's being spiritually attacked.
your spiritual guides. High priestess is saying death unto enemies. Okay. Wow. It's 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 a new day, it's a new dawn. Okay. All the work that they sent out is being returned to them. All of it. What else? All the work that you sent out is being sent back. The Rishas are on board. The angels are on board. The dark, uh, the underworld. Is, you left powerless. My guy, you are powerless here. <laughs> she, her Arishas have arrived. Her angels have arrived. Okay. Her ancestors. I didn't even pull that out yet because you know they're about to chew you up and spit you out. They said they protect, they're right by her side every day, bro. There's nothing more you guys can do. She is divine feminine. She's divine feminine. There's nothing more you can do. Your magic is trash. Deck closed and they'll be at a devastating loss. Did you hear that? A devastating loss. Remember the graveyard that you guys like to play in? You're about to lose something very important to you. And they closed the deck. And I listened to the Risha, so I will not go any further than that. They said deck closed. All right, the ancestors would like something to say, and then I'm gonna head on out, guys. But whatever they sent out over this new moon, uh, is being sent back immediately. They're become, they're gonna be experiencing a devastating loss. The ancestors have the final word. The Galactical Federations are saying death as well. Everybody's on board. Everybody's in, in agreement. Your enemies are trapped. They cannot escape from bondage at this time. They're experiencing anxiety. Okay. They've, they're entered into a te very tense situation here. Thank you so much. What are you, okay. I told you this voodoo priest wanted was acting like your lover. That's how he was able to get in your heart but don't let that stop you from loving do not that means he would win and you deserve all the love in the world and also I'm feeling like somebody here may have been a lover of this voodoo priest as well yes. There you go. Both in the same box. R.I.P. R.I.P. Funeral home. For the lovers. They were lovers. He was going to siphon and she was going to fuck you up. He was siphoning. She realized it and she decided to start throwing magic at you. No one's, be no one's to you. You're minding your business. You really th thought this was love. Is it love? Is it love? Is it love? Is it love that I'm feeling? It was not love. Judgment. Them bones. Judgment, baby. Big Mama Empress said bones. They want They want justice. That's what they saying. I can't even hold the cards. They want justice. For the fuckery. Also, somebody went to a reading. A reader. To find out their fate. Well, this is your fate. We have an elder on the other side, a masculine elder. He's the, he's the lead, leading this against the group, against the, the this, against this coven cult or whatever the fuck they want to call themselves. Okay? They're about to get some, oh, and the masculine for doing the sex magic. He's going to experience impotence. He ain't going to be able to get it up. His dick ain't going to work no more. Since that was his weapon. Okay, so whoever did the sex spell, which was the masculine and the group of bitches that decided to throw magic on children and the high priestess. Yeah, funeral home. Wow. Clear boundaries. Okay, I feel like your spirit team even tried to warn them about what they were doing. Like if you keep going, you're going to get what you're looking for. And oh baby, they're going to get what they're looking for. They're going to get what they're looking for. This emperor. This masculine. 
Your spirit team told the masculine, masculine not to do this. And he did it anyway. He did it anyway. He did so he may have done something to your son to cause hard times on your child. They did. This is one of them. One of the spells that they did. Well, hard times is over for for this uh, this son in this high voodoo high priestess's life. You tried to do that. Okay, hard times is over for him. He's moving on, just like his mama. Moving on to better, better days. Better days are here to come. Okay, we have another masculine on the other side. They, this is a plan. This is planned out. These are two very smart individuals. Very smart magicians. You're stressed and burdened at this time. Stressed and burdened. Okay. There is no help for you. There's no help. This masculine was pushy and arrogant. All right. And... But on the other side, we have these masculines here. They're, they're, they're coming. They're gun ho They're ready. They're ready for the shits. Again with the son. So somebody really was attacking this high priestess's son. It didn't work on the daughter, so you're going after the son? Now that's dumb. He holds the seed. That was dumb. Dumb, dumb. You'll be mourning your losses. This is your punishment. Again, mourning your losses. Somebody's about to die for going after this high priestess's son. Somebody's truly trapped for going after her son. Yeah, it comes out again. Whoever did that. That was that false high priestess. Yeah. You're going to be in despair. Okay. You have entered a cycle of bondage by her ancestors. And his the hex has been broken, bitch. It will never work, ho. Never. What you don't you don't believe her? Oh you will. You will. So somebody if you put yourself up to being a hanged man, ho. You did this to yourself. Traitor being punished by their own self-doing. She knows what you've done. And now you shall pay. All of y'all. Because it's the will of fortune. Y'all going to be confused. Trying to figure out your life choices. Confused. Okay? But you... She's a high priestess. Beautiful, intelligent, and loving. Y'all can't break her spirit. She'll never turn hard. Black, dark hearted. It will never happen. But in the meantime, you guys try to figure out your life choices. You try to figure it out. Because you guys are doomed. It's doomsday, ho. Doomsday for y'all. See? Feminine cult came out for y'all. It's doomsday. Y'all tried one more time. Oh, she has a son. Let's go after him. That was the nail in the coffin, bitch. That was the nail in the coffin. Everything's been swapped right back to you, bitch. Bitches and the voodoo priests. Everything goes right the fuck back. Her return to senders are epic. There ain't nothing you can do about it, bitch. Cycle is fucking closed. You can't even dig up what you planted. Look. Old lover. Look, I told you. One is your whole life. The cycle is closed. You guys are hangman. And that will, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I want to say thank you all for watching, listening. Thank you all for your support. I do love you all. Um, you mean so much to me, okay? Uh, if you would like a reading, my link is in the bio or the description bar. Or you can find me at www.bli88creations.site. And remember to always go within or go without. Have a great day.